Over time, you find the lenses you like, you don't like your go-tos and the occasional lenses you rent because they're just too expensive. But today I'm talking about my three favorite go-to lenses for the Sony system. What are your three favorite lenses? Let me know down in the comments below. And first up on my list is the Sony G 20 millimeter f1.8 it's medium compact and does what you needed to do when you needed to do it it is the hashtag shallow depth of field vlog lens it is equipped with the aperture ring that can be clicked and declicked it has a programmable button which i never really use but you can program it to do almost anything in the camera and it has a focus ring there are a ton of videos out there on image quality and a deep dive into the specs of this lens but if you want to know how it performs you can watch the past 15 or so videos on my channel to get a good idea of how it performs in a studio setting and i'm also using it right now to record this talking head but this lens i use for about 100 percent of my a roll for this channel and 10 percent of the b roll maybe five percent but it is my second most used sony lens but it isn't my most favorite my most favorite is the sony 90 millimeter f 2.8 which i purchased a few weeks prior to the 20 millimeter the 20 millimeter really pushed me to get the 90 millimeter because of the quality that came out of the 90 millimeter Really liked it, pretty sharp, and I was able to manipulate the image to get it to where I wanted, so I got the lens. I really like the compression of the lens. I can continue to put out words as to what I wanna say and how I feel about the lens, but it's really hard to even explain. I mean, just look at the quality of the lens. I use the 90 millimeter for 90% of all the B-roll on this channel, for all the close-ups, all the macro, and everything else in between. It is a macro lens. It has a focus ring, which doubles as a manual to autofocus switch. It has a switch to toggle between focus distance from close far and one that cycles in between since it is a macro lens you can get pretty close i really don't know the specs off the top of my head but there are definitely a ton of videos out there on this lens that will give you those specifics as to how far or how close you can be when in the different focus settings it's a phenomenal lens and with that as an example of how this lens performs here are a few clips or b-roll clips of the sony size 16 to 35 f4 my most used go-to lens out of my sony kit i've used this lens for at least five days a week since i got it back in 2020 it's a mid-size zoom lens great build and has not failed me yet it is the hashtag vloggers favorite focal length or the vloggers favorite zoom range lens but it is my workhorse camera to say in the least it has a zoom ring a focus ring and that's it it is sharp it is rectilinear and it does more than what you need it to do because it covers various focal lengths even at f4 you can get a shallow depth of field through the entire focal range more shallow at 35 with a fair amount of compression to create a pleasing image simply put it is truly a versatile lens because it has 16 to 35 focal range and it is a fourth of the cost of most of the 16 to 35s out there on the market but let me backtrack for a second one of the main reasons i got this lens is because it is a rectilinear lens which means that although it is a wide angle lens there is little to no distortion which means for real estate photography when looking through the camera all the lines will be straight and when editing there is little to no distortion correction needed majority of the time the lines will be straight but this lens lives on my sony a7 IV and you can watch this video right here about my three favorite lenses for the fujifilm system thanks for joining stay awesome